guys, welcome back, YouTube. Okay. We got a problem. I was going to show you a video of me uh, drawing out the stilts and the hands for the Angel of Death, but... Looks like I'm going to show you how to repair uh, these little wheels here. Be back in a second. Alright guys, not sure how well this camera's going to focus in on this, but you see little spindles on the end. This is the axle here. And I'll draw it in a little bit better detail so you can see exactly what's going on. I don't know if you can really catch that too well. But, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Like this. Not really that complex of a, uh, of a fix here, but very useful. See how the... They're, they're running mostly true again. Alright guys, so I'm going to stop this video, uh, get all the tools necessary, there's only one, and I'll show you how it's done. Alright, so it's not too hard of a, uh, a fix, at least for this style wheel. You can see the axle has a, uh, a uh, divots on it, and that corresponds to uh, certain divots and valleys on the inside of this wheel here. First thing to do is just kind of press it into place on the first divot. And you can't really press it into the place any further by hand. So you just grab a quick clamp. Get it centered right over the axle and... Ta-da! So, what I was talking about with the, the axles is your normal axle is nice flat straight smooth profile so things can get a bearing surface on them what these are is they have these little bumps on them that form a positive connection with the wheel itself so that the wheel in theory won't ever pop off the reason these ones do is they have many 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 hours of use into them I'm in this shop six hours a day at least, six days a week, seven days a week sometimes, and sometimes I'm in here 16, 18, 20 hours at a clip, uh, getting projects done, cleaning, just trying to figure things out, prototyping things, and a big bulk of the time I'm sitting down, whether it's using the table saw, the band saw, the drill press, uh, 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 my router set up for doing pipes so they, they take a lot of abuse and you know after so long these things are going to happen so guys what do you think about the quick fix to uh, put wheels back on these chairs I know it's very simple and it's kind of stupid especially seeing how much I abuse these chairs I sit in them all the time whether I'm at my table drafting and here sketching or working on prototypes or I'm um, shooting my daily vlogs, or twice a week vlogs, shop updates, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and really, these chairs aren't all that good, they're not all that expensive, but all the furniture in this house that I haven't made was given to me by my grandparents who are both now deceased. I was very close to both of them and lived with them for several years, taking care of them as their health uh, started to ail. So being able to repair these things is very important to me um, they don't have a lot of value but they have a real lot of sentimental value to me so if you guys have any anything of the same sort I would like to be able to show you how you can repair it instead of getting rid of it trashing it or making a mistake uh, it's stuff like that, it's reasons like this that I I do what I do and this is why I try and show you what I, I do show you when I'm able to. It's not just a way of making money or you know, saving some money or you know, having fun in the shop. I have plenty of all of those. But it's also a way to preserve the past. Make things last. To hold on to things as much as you can. Because in the end, most things in this world are replaceable. What you can't replace are your memories. So hold on to them as, hard, as best you can. 
and I think the best way to do that is to be able to repair things so you can keep them for longer. It also shows a level of care that most people don't have anymore for anything. And I believe when you put that much care into things, people notice. I'm not sure if, if you know, there's a heaven or hell, but I think that they would notice uh, that, I, that I am taking care of th what they gave me. I'm trying to preserve things as best as I can. It's not always successful. And I'm not saying baby things. I destroy things. I work things as hard as I can for as long as I can. But when I'm able to, I preserve things. Like this chair. I use the ever-living hell out of it. Sometimes 20 hours a day. For multiple days out of the week. I'm not babying things. Uh, I use this as a platform when I'm cutting things on my makeshift cutting board, uh, tool rest, stepping stool, everything a rolling chair is not designed to be used for. And I still use it like that, even though I have this intrinsic value. But when you're able to repair things, I have a pair of boots that I've repaired numerous times, riveting them back together, making new eyelets from scratch. Not, not the eyelets, but the, the swivel ones. And I've had a $100 pair of boots for, was it 2016 now? So about six years. And they're designed to last about a year. So it's stuff like that. Anyways, guys, sorry for rambling on a little bit about the end, but I wanted to impress upon you why I build things, why I design things, and why I care to even tell anyone else how or why I do things. So please leave a like, comment in the section below, uh, what things would you like to learn how to repair? What did you think about this video? Is there anything sentimental in your life that you haven't been able to repair that you're holding on to that you would either like me to take a look at or advise you on how to repair it from a distance? Uh, and when you get a chance after that, please hit that subscribe button so you can see what's going on next week and the week after. And so you guys can always have a quick way to get back to me if you ever need to learn something. This was just supposed to be a short clip, so sorry. It, again, I'm sorry I, ran, I rambled on a little bit, but it is what it is. Y'all take care. Bye.